One of the coolest aspects of SEAL Team is how real everything feels. Every episode is like a day in the life of these military badasses. But did you know that it takes a massive amount of work and dedication to get everything right? For the actors of SEAL Team, the struggle is real. From intense physical training to jet lag from flying across the world to film, you're about to find out exactly how tough it is to make SEAL Team. Before you do anything, ask an expert. The trouble with the series based on real people is that it has to feel real. As producer Ed Redlich explained, the origin of this show comes from the lives that do the work. We want the whole thing to vibrate with that sense of reality. It's also what drew the cast to the project. According to David Boreanaz, when I was told about the people that were involved, these guys do these heroic things. That was very impactful for me. Thankfully, the creative team behind SEAL Team hasn't had to worry about their art imitating life. You see, the High Adrenaline Show has a top secret weapon when it comes to ensuring that every second of what we see on screen looks exactly like the real thing. Tyler Gray Not only is this guy the show's producer, actor, and advisor, but he's also an army veteran with years of military experience and a super elite team in Afghanistan. I'd love to give you more details, but I'd have to kill you. Seriously. Tyler truly is the real deal, and he knows what he's talking about. Which is why he's the one who has final say about whether a scene looks right. And that itself is quite the feat, especially for the many action sequences that have made the show so popular. You'd be surprised how much planning and coordination it takes to get just a few seconds of good film. It's a balancing act every single episode, um, and again, you see the logistics and the coordination of how much goes into each and every shot. But Tyler isn't the only ex-vet that has a say in the show. As actor Max Theory had explained, we employ veterans on the show. We work with these guys to make sure everything looks right. We do a lot of gun training. We do a lot of things to get the mannerisms all right to look authentic. That also comes with a good deal of pressure, because one of the sneakiest ways the show guarantees realism is by using genuine equipment and not props. Everything that's on this table is real. These are real working night vision nods. These are $17,000 a piece. So there are several thousand reasons to be careful on set and handle equipment properly. But it's not just the action scenes that need to look the part. The cast needed to learn to channel their emotions too. Forget the gym, you need to prep your mind. The action sequences in SEAL Team may be front and center on screen, but to really be convincing, the actors needed to prepare more than just their bodies. And we'll get to that in a moment. They need to have the right mindset. Executive producer Benjamin Cavell has said this is exactly what sets their show apart. One thing that every other military show gets wrong is that it's not funny enough. Their interactions and lives in the military can have funny moments, so we have tried to incorporate humor. And that can also be a good coping mechanism when you're struggling physically. And humor being one of them. I mean, we talked last time about laughter and how they get through pain. I think if anything is um, they use laughter a lot and uh, in order to kind of distract that where the pain really is. Some of the cast has admitted that the emotional component of the show can actually be more difficult to prepare for in film than the physically demanding scenes. Sadly, they have no choice because the directors love all that emotion, and so do the fans. As cast member turned director Max Theory had shared, I love the drama. I love the emotional scenes. Having these other actors trust, I feel like they're willing to take chances with me and open their hearts and expose themselves a little bit. And speaking of emotion, the cast has been through so much together that they've basically become a brotherhood of their own. Max revealed that the cast bonds over their breaks. They escape the military by playing hockey with the very same net that occasionally features on screen. As David Boreanaz reminds us, everything these guys do is legit. They work hard and play hard. But just how hard is that? We're glad you asked. These guys get hurt. The SEAL team doesn't get called in for trivial things. Each mission is intense and complicated, and that's exactly what keeps us on the edges of our seats. So of course, the cast knew that when they landed their roles, they'd be spending a lot of time in the gym to look the part. After all, as Bravo team's leader, David Boreanaz told Men's Journal that not anyone could be a tier one operator. Those people have tremendous drive. But that does mean that the cast does occasionally complain about those painful muscles. David Boreanaz elaborated, it's important we understand what these folks go through. When people who are serving watch our show and say they can relate, that's big. As the cast discovered, the only way to become a SEAL is through hard work and training. And their trainer, Roy Paris, doesn't make it easy on them. His mantra is that the Navy SEAL guys are all true badasses, and there are no shortcuts to looking like a badass. The cast trains six days a week in a special gym trailer that's set up on location, so they have no excuses for missing a workout. The only downside to so much exercise is the occasional injury. Just ask David Boreanaz. Over four seasons of playing Jason Hayes, the actor has racked up an impressive list of 
of ouchies. These include knee trauma, lower back injuries, and several joint problems that have forced him to try fancy new medical procedures for faster healing. And you know what? If he could do it all again, he wouldn't change anything. The actor explained, Everything that we do is to serve the story of these guys better. That is why we put in the work. But just what kind of crazy workouts are these guys doing to get such weird injuries? I guess the real question is, what are they not doing? A Day in the Life of a SEAL Team Actor features a cardio warm-up followed by an insane number of reps in some seriously complicated routines. As actor AJ Buckley noted, you only have one shot at this, so you have to go hard. I get up at 4 in the morning and go to the gym, then go to work. Even with this crazy dedication, he still doesn't think he actually has what it takes to be a real SEAL. He's well aware that those guys are on a different level. Don't forget makeup. The cast doesn't just lose sleep to exercise. They've got to rise and shine pretty early to get their signature looks just right. This is a typical day. We start in the trailer normally at 5.30. We try to come as close to pajamas as humanly possible. And that includes the guys. This is the well-kept secret of this trailer is that the boys get more than the girls. Am I, am I right? That's still not the end of it. In addition to dealing with tired muscles, the cast also needs to cope with jet lag. Get your passport ready, we're jet setting. SEAL Team does more than show us amazing military operations around the world. It's actually shown us the world. Well, some of it. The series has been filmed in a bunch of different locations across the globe, including some remote sites. Of course, the majority of the series is filmed in the US in a massive studio in California, so the cast can go home every day. But what happens when you need a place that can't be replicated in a studio? You hop on a plane. The cast and crew of SEAL Team have been to Central America and Paraguay, the Philippines, Serbia, and back in the US to shoot in Louisiana. Not only does this reinforce that all-important sense of realism, but it has an extra advantage for the local community, a hefty income. Every time the series films on location, it provides direct employment for up to 200 people, which can cost anything up to $4 million for a single episode. But when you consider the number of pyrotechnicians, advisors, cameramen, editing experts, and makeup personnel, that does kind of make sense. But there's also a downside to all that travel, a whole lot of jet lag, which can seriously affect your performance and your mood. So the cast and crew came up with a brilliant solution, which they learned from a real ex-marine. Right when you get on the plane, Got go it. to sleep right away. Do you sleep, you sleep on planes easily? Is that something you do? Yes. Surprisingly, the cast picked up an even better skill than managing their sleep schedules while on set. They've also learned the importance of rescue missions, literally. Fighting more than just bad guys. I'm about to tell you something truly earth-shattering. The fifth season of SEAL Team nearly didn't happen. Despite the immense popularity of the show, when CBS announced its renewals from the 2021-2022 season, the military show wasn't on the list. The fans weren't the only ones to freak out. The actors couldn't believe it either. Before he later deleted his social media accounts, David Boreanaz took to Twitter to start a renewal campaign. Amazingly, it worked. The show was renewed for a fifth season. That kind of persistence is what makes this show so successful. For more SEAL Team info, check out our video about the cast's love lives. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, stay awesome!